Hello everybody, it's Brandon again, and uh, what we're looking at today is GNOME 44, or GNOME if you will. Uh, I won't, but if you will, that's fine. Uh, and I'm testing this on the beta of Fedora Linux 38. Uh, whenever Fedora 38 is actually re released, I'll probably do a review on that distro. But for now, we're going to be taking a look at the beta just so we can look at what's new in GNOME 44. And so let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, one of the first things that they've been talking about for this release is a revamped uh, quick settings menu here. Uh, this is what it looks like now. And apparently one of the new features is, I don't know if you guys know, if you use GNOME, it doesn't show your uh, taskbar icons anymore. I don't think it has since the beginning of GNOME 3. Uh, apparently now, though, if you got apps running in the background, they'll show up in a list down here. I don't have anything running to give an example of that, but I've seen uh, screenshots of it online, so I know it kind of works like it uh, says it's supposed to. So that is uh, one of the first new features with this new GNOME release. The next thing they have is they added a uh, grid view to the um, file chooser window. Now, this is another thing I, I guess I should have prepared better before I uh, started out here, because it's not like I have a bunch of... Um, files. I'm just running this in a virtual machine. And so if I uh, go to open, like I, I don't have a grid worth of files to uh, show you, but I do see the button here where you can switch to grid view. So I guess it would show a bunch of icons there. You can see screenshots of it online. And uh, when I do my Fedora review, I'll, I'll come better prepared. Actually, maybe I can, um, let's see, show some hidden files here. No, okay. Yeah, let's not worry about that. Let's just uh, move on to some of the other things that are new because they have revamped some of the settings panels. So let's go ahead and open up settings. And the first one they've gone ahead and revamped, I guess, is the privacy panel. So let's see. Where are you at, privacy? All right. And then there should be a... Oh, Fedora doesn't have it. Interesting. Okay, on the uh, GNOME notes here, there's a uh, device security section on the bottom. And I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's not in uh, Fedora. If you guys uh, know what's up there, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at it right here in a screenshot of the uh, GNOME website. There's supposed to be a device security section right here. And I'm just not seeing it here on this beta of Fedora 38. But never fear, because there's some other uh, panels that have supposedly been updated too. Let's go to the accessibility panel and see what that looks like now. And frankly, I've uh, never had much of a reason to use the accessibility panel. But let's say the new um, settings. Let's see, they say there's some new stuff under typing. The options have been added to enable accessibility features using the keyboard. Enable by keyboard, I guess they got that right there. Let's see, they say an over amplification setting has been added. Must be in hearing. There you go, over amplification. I guess you can make things louder if you want. There's a test area to test the cursor blinking setting. I guess that's probably in typing again, too. Oh, there we go, test section. And a new setting to make scroll bars be always visible. Where do we see that at? Seeing, maybe? Maybe it's that. I don't know. You guys uh, maybe use accessibility features. I don't. But they apparently also updated the uh, mouse and trackpad section. And I kind of see it looks a little different here. Um, I don't know if this is always there, but they have the difference between the traditional and the natural scrolling like you find on uh, Macs. So I guess that's kind of neat. And um, yeah, that's just what that looks like there. There's a little touch pad, touch pad tab. Maybe this stuff was there before. I don't know. It looks kind of fancy and new to me. So that's what's there. And what else does it say they updated in the settings panel? Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, if there's something I forgot, you guys can let me know in the comments. All right, it says now if you go to your quick settings menu and I don't have Bluetooth because I'm running this in an uh, emulator, a virtual box 
But apparently on the Bluetooth section, you can now uh, expand that and have some features there. I guess that's going to be pretty cool. Again, when I do my Fedora review, I'll do it on actual hardware so I can test everything. So moving on, they say they streamline the software app. And you can see I have 34 updates here, but it says that uh, categories are now open up faster. And if anyone's used GNOME software, you probably know that it's kind of slow sometimes. They say it's faster. When I just clicked on this, it still seems pretty slow to me. But I believe them if they say they made it quicker. Why not? It also says if you have um, flat packs installed, the old unused flat pack runtimes will automatically be renewed, removed. That's pretty good. And they say there's some UI enhancements like better reviews. Let's go into G-Edit and see if the reviews look any better. I don't know. Looks the same to me, but maybe it does look a little better. All right. What else are we talking? I guess in the last version of GNOME, files, if you're on the um, list view, lost the ability to expand folders. Which I didn't even know it could do. And apparently you can do that again now. But of course, look at me, I don't even know how to do it. Yeah, if you guys know, you can put it in the comments. Yeah, I usually just use a uh, regular icon view and I kind of shrink it down a little bit because the uh, default ones are a little large for my taste. Let's see, it says in Wi-Fi settings, it's now possible to share your Wi-Fi password using a QR code. Well, that might be cool. Again, I on my virtual box, I don't have Wi-Fi, so that's something I have to look at later. It says the About section now includes kernel and firmware versions. I'm going to take a little peek at that. Let's go to my settings. Go to About. Firmware version, virtual box. That's nice. Kernel version, there we go, Linux 6.2.2. The Thunderbolt settings will now be shown only when there's Thunderbolt hardware, which I probably don't have. In the network settings, it's impossible to add and configure WireGuard VPN. Where are you, network? Oh, there's a VPN section. Okay, so anyway, I saw something that the weather app was updated a little bit. And that the uh, web web browser is now using GTK4. I doubt web is on um, Fedora here. Probably not. So anyway, here's just a quick look at what GNOME 44 looks like. This is, as I said, a beta version of Fedora. Whenever actual Fedora comes out, I'm going to do a review on that, and then we'll go through some of the things more extensively. I'll have it on actual hardware, so I'll be able to test some of the features we missed. But all in all, I mean, it looks pretty nice. I uh, I usually use GNOME when I'm using Linux, and um, it served me pretty well. I don't have any problems with it. I think it's a pretty nice, clean system. This is kind of the default wallpaper on it right now. Um, you know, they got some other neat looking ones here, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think. Um, maybe I'll have to do a video about KDE at some point. I've, I haven't really used KDE since I first started using Linux, probably almost 20 years ago now. So I don't even know what the uh, recent KDE has to offer, but GNOME's just been good for me. So if you guys like it, you can let me know. If you found the video helpful, you can let me know. You can like it and subscribe. If you thought I uh, don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine too, because I don't. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a good day. Goodbye now.